clock is ticking twilight and every midnight my head is on my pillow covers pulled tight while the night light past the foot of the bed illuminates and transcends darkness pushing in and the stress is immeasurable cracks are forming around my edges keep it together chompy people are counting on you to bring in the lyrics or a hook or a paycheck and i can't stand to look myself in the eye in the mirror i can't recognize myself back then it was so much clearer fact is that back then is over this isn't all about Gen 5. That's just a straw that broke the back of a dog with too much in his bowl. I'm too old for this and too big to cry, but at least I can say that it gave me the experience to be good at goodbyes. At some point in the distant future, I'll peel off the band-aid and rip the sutures holding together the notion that all the devotion I had for a cartoon about horses made more sense and granted some believability to the flight of fancy that things are all going to be okay. Time goes by as I find the words to find you All my life I searched for a dream to cling to Look behind, I had my friends to turn to Now look ahead at the paths that out before you All good things are up Platitudes and philosophy are all too cheap and easy. Big ideas, big words, big pictures, deep meaning. I feel sleazy as I weasel my way into an uninformed opinion about a world I never belonged in. Does anything ever really have a terminus? Or is every ending a jumping off point to a new beginning? Time is already spinning and winding down, but hold steady. You might just find that you were never ready for the changes pushed out the door. Man, Bowie was right. We are not only immune to your consultations, but also to entertainment. It's a side effect of being numb to the bone of being alone, fully grown up and on your own. But big surprise, you can't carve out a life with a knife made out of cynicism and skepticism. My generation stared down the barrel of four Great Depressions, three economic and the last just a general descriptor of our lives. Yet somewhere through all of that, we still find a good deal of comfort in the simple non-realities. The fantasy of justice and fairness. The biggest mistake you can make is taking for granted just how willing we are to lie to make the world a better place. Time goes by as I find the words to find you. All my life I searched for a dream to cling to. My friends to turn to now look ahead at the path set out before you. All good things are a beginning to an end. So, what is this all building to? Do I have some great revelation for you? Some world altering, mind bending, earth shattering cacophony of insight, wit, and wisdom, some Aristotle's delight of profound down and out truth to life? Please. You know me better than that. I can't even shed light on myself, but I don't want to totally waste your time. Let's talk about Gen 5. That's right. I'll bring this all to a head in the end, totally perfunctory, while my slovenly slipshot attempt to give a nod to the topic may appear ham-fisted. Bear in mind what I decried about looking ahead. It'll come as no surprise that the reception of a new iteration of something so beloved inevitably rings the death knell of a world we've come to love. The simple truth is that there is beauty in change. Before you try to decry that your childhood is being ruined or spit upon, keep in mind that you're talking to people whose lives have known nothing but flux. It's all right to be sad at losing something we had, but I'll be damned if I let knee-jerk reaction rob me of something that could very well give me at least the smallest of smiles. Let your cynicism be informed. Let people enjoy what they like. It's only escapism. If you have no intention to return, it may be a cash grab or brain-rotting tripe, but take it from someone who's loved and lost. We are not here long enough to pass up on the opportunity to have a little fun.